The award is named after Dr. John R. Hubbard, the eighth president of the University of Southern California, and the person who was instrumental in the organization getting the two to one matching for our scholarship funds. We look for students, Latino students, that have demonstrated academic excellence, community involvement, extracurricular activities, and demonstrated leadership. He met me through the McNair program uh, and had a relatively ambitious research project that he wanted to do. He was interested in looking at why some young gay Latino men weren't getting HIV tested. I worked with um, Bienestar, which is, or Bienestar, which is a nonprofit organization that addresses HIV, a lot of the LGBTQ community issues that have affected Latinos. I became part of the group. I needed a support system because I myself identify as a gay Latino man. He immediately saw that he could make a bigger impact doing research in large groups. He's got a great aspiration for himself. Another thing I'd like to accomplish would be to make sure that the next generation of leaders are trained properly and effectively in terms of um, being able to look up to someone that they can relate to. I think that Juan is an amazing ambassador for multiple communities. He won the Gates Millennium Foundation Scholarship, which has supported his all four years of his bachelor's here at USC. My mom and dad migrated to Central Valley and worked on the farms in, as migrant workers. Um, but originally what brought them to the, to the States was my grandpa was a bracero. This year for election night, he worked with multiple campus entities and student groups to have this a great election viewing night here at the campus center in the plaza. So for many people, their very first election. There's a lot of communities in the world that their self-worth is so low. One of the biggest things I want to do in my life would be able to do is be able to have that impact with some sort of creative messaging platform. A project that creates something that doesn't exist that then goes and changes the way the collective psyche thinks about itself. Ultimately at the end of the day I think I do a lot of what I do because of my mom and dad and how they inspire me. We're four girls in the family and in Guatemala it was getting really dangerous. Women were being kidnapped and sold into slavery and so my parents to protect us and also in order to provide better um, education for us, decided to move here. I met Cecia through uh, the dental school in the summer after her eighth grade. She volunteered in the clinic. Cecia came in to help work with the kids. This was a very special young lady. I have my dental work done at the faculty clinic at USC. She was there volunteering and she said, well, you know, I'm really excited about USC. It's been my first choice for as long as I can remember, but I don't think I'm going to be able to go. She told me about the you know, the fact that she wasn't able to get any financial aid. So I found out that she was a great student. She was absolutely someone who we wanted to have at USC and made some phone calls and talked to some people and we were able to put together a package that was able to, to have her enroll. I'm very proud of being able to um, be working on my master's at the same time um, as my bachelor's. And it really encompasses what I want to do in the future, which is um, travel around the world and get free dental care. Um, to people in need. Very, very committed, very, very dedicated, just sincere in her desire to help kids, especially underprivileged kids, through dentistry. Her service is important to her. She's going to represent USC very well uh, as a Trojan alumna. John, even though he is a very intelligent young man, he still is sensitive about the issues in the community. He likes working with people, especially immigrants, coming from an immigrant family. And I know as parents, I believe they started out in professional positions in El Salvador. And when, uh, in order to leave the violence and protect their family, they came to the United States and had to take on jobs that were much different from the professional jobs that they had. They were architects there. Currently, my mother is a babysitter, and uh, my father's working in gas stations. The, greatest things that John did with, with the honors thesis was travel back to El Salvador and he did systematic research on the ways in which governments and local organizations, police departments, create policies about gang violence, combating gang violence.
methods, the questions that he asked, the, the systematic research that he did, the analysis that he wrote is far stronger than a typical BA student. I fully expect to see him someday in a position of public service. Well, who knows, he might even be on the Supreme Court. I strongly believe that it, it takes an opportunity to give an opportunity. And so if I could just ask one thing from any person that was attending that room is please support this scholarship and more organizations like it so that we can actually impact this world and show them what true potential looks like when it's unlocked 